I'm Peggy Dean. I am a best-selling author, artist, and educator, and I am excited to bring to you what I have learned about AI language models. It supercharged my workflow, and I know they will for you too. All right, I'll be honest. I was initially hesitant about incorporating AI into my creative workflow for obvious reasons or maybe not so obvious, but I was concerned about the impact that it might have on my creativity. I worried about whether or not it would basically replace human intuition <laughs> and expertise. But I will say this, after exploring this emerging AI landscape, and experimenting with all of these various tools, I have come to see the potential for these technologies and how they can enhance and augment the creative process. So rather than replace it, when I figured out that sweet spot, I knew that I needed to share my insights with creatives of all kinds and how creative people can incorporate AI into their workflow too. One of the biggest mistakes that people make when they're using AI is not understanding its limitations. What I mean by this is that AI is only as good as the data that you feed it. I say it so slow because it's important. It's important to ensure that you're providing relevant and specific data. And it's also super important to use it alongside human experience rather than relying on it entirely. So while it has made significant strides in recent years, it cannot, will not, not ever replace or replicate humanity. Because creativity is a complex concept. It's deeply rooted in our authentic experiences, emotions, perspectives. These aren't things that can be replicated by an algorithm. They just aren't. These are aspects of our human nature. It's what drives us to create and innovate and think outside the box. And while AI algorithms may be able to mimic patterns and maybe even generate ideas based off of data, they can't recreate this, you know, the nuanced, unique thought processes that stem from our individual experiences and perspectives. So therefore, it's important to recognize that first, recognize the limitations that AI has, appreciate the human touch that is essential to creativity and innovation. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's look at how you can as a creative, incorporate AI into your workflow. My favorite perk of all is the ability to remove this boring, time-consuming, busy work. Uh, the ability to structure what I'm not naturally good at or proficient in or just stuff I don't wanna do. AI language models, they have the potential to like, sorry to use some <laughs> huge word about it, but revolutionize the creative process, they can automate these mundane tasks and generate new ideas and insights based off of, you know, one that you have that you provide and then also create entirely new frameworks and outlines for your new work. There are far too many opportunities to dive into everything at a glance. So I'm going to highlight three of my favorite applications that you can use in the creative space. But for a deeper dive, I have formatted all of my best guidelines and a massive template vault inside of my bite-sized Skillshare class, ChatGPT for Creatives, which has been featured quite a few times in quite a few places, but without getting into that, I'll link it for you. But here are the three main highlights. One is to optimize marketing efforts. As an entrepreneur, I wear a lot of hats and I'm willing to bet that you or somebody that you know can relate. One of those hats is marketing. Yuck, I know. But <laughs> I have been able to use ChatGPT to optimize my email subject lines, personalize my messages, uh, create lead magnets, and even predict which subscribers are most likely to convert. Yeah, I'm serious. It's wild. And these types of tools can save hours of manual work and mental energy in stuff that otherwise feels kind of gross, which can improve your conversion rates, leading to better ROI for your campaigns. And this is, if you can have that part of it done for you, it doesn't feel as gross because you're just excited to show up, right? Okay, the next one is to increase discoverability online. So this is interesting. It's making a big impact in SEO. Um, there are AI powered tools that will analyze your content and its structure and identify opportunities for optimizing 
the search engine optimization, optimizing the optimization. Uh, they'll suggest um, keyword, short tail keyword phrases, long tail keyword phrases, these keyword targets. It'll also help you predict what is gonna perform best in search. So strategizing with best SEO practices it's so great because your content will be able to be visible to your target audience and drive organic traffic to your site. Real quick, this remember that it does matter the data that you put in because that's what's going to determine your output and you want this to be very relevant to what it is that your offer is. So be sure to grab my template whole workbook deal because you're gonna want it in my class. Um, it's free with the class. If you have a Skillshare membership, there's no reason not to grab it. If you don't have a Skillshare membership, the link that I provided will give you a month for free. You can cancel anytime, no commitments because, ugh. Okay, now brainstorming and idea generation. This is the third one that I wanna mention. I have also been using ChatGPT to help me generate new ideas and creative concepts. Before you say that takes away our own creativity, stay with me. <laughs> this is going somewhere. For example, I might need to generate high quality headlines and titles for blog posts. Not only has AI saved me a ton of time there, but the bonus is it's kind of in a backwards way providing me with all of these options that are constantly sparking new ideas based off of the results. It's like essentially taking the creativity I've already, I've already done, I've already provided it, and it's helping me iterate more quickly and bring my ideas to life faster. So I'm gonna call that a huge win. Now, of course, there are some challenges and considerations to keep in mind when you are incorporating AI into your creative workflow. Like one for one, it's not a silver bullet. I'm not gonna, you know, it's I'm not gonna tell you it'll magically solve all of your creative challenges, but it's also important to be aware of limitations and biases of these AI systems because they have a baseline, right? So when we use them as a tool for our own, you know we have our own creative intuition and expertise, so we're not replacing it. We're just using it as a tool, basically. So what I focus on is what I call the power prompt. This is a very specific formula I've put together that fine tunes results. It allows you to achieve your desired results seamlessly. And with the right formula, you can use AI to generate high quality content for a lot of things social media content, blogs, titles and headlines, search engine optimization, uh, product descriptions, lead magnets, email campaigns, funnels, content creation, so much. I'd love to help you with this. So be sure to grab my AI playbook and template pack. And I have to loop back to this important reminder, okay? AI should not replace your human touch. Because yeah, it can write music and scripts and blogs and courses, you name it, but it lacks the emotional depth that comes from being human. Furthermore, it can only produce what's been programmed into it. So human creativity is limitless. It's constantly evolving. Keep evolving as a human and let AI come along with you as a tool. With all of that in mind, pleasantly surprised that I have come out in favor of AI language models. It's not something I necessarily expected, but I have seen firsthand that they have the potential to really be a game changer. It's just important to approach it with this critical and thoughtful mindset. So by leveraging your AI powered tools in your email marketing, SEO, creative workflows, you name it, you're gonna save time, drive better results, unlock new creative possibilities that have truly been impossible until now. Lance, so I'll ha bleh, mm -mm. Bleh. start that part over.